Hello everyone and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Today we are going to be talking about doing some um, bussing of groups of instruments. We've done vocal tracks in the past, but today we're going to group some instruments together. So I want to show you in Soundtrap, I have already loaded a set of drum stems into Soundtrap. Um, these are some things that we recorded here in the studio, and I've done just a basic uh, mix on these. There's no EQ, there's no compression. There are definitely things that I would do um, with the EQ and compressor before I did all this, but I just want to show you a quick and basic uh, thing here. So here's the mix of my drums as is. So that's the mix we're going to work at. Now, you would need to hit, uh, if you're going to do this for bussing a group of drums together, you'll need to solo only the drum tracks, which I've got done right here. So if there's guitars and other stuff, you want to leave them muted for this process. And then you'll hit save, and Soundtrap will do its mixing process. And when the mixing process is done, then you can actually download uh, that file and to do that, you'll go File, Export to a WAV file, because WAV is what we like to work with. Um, so when that is done, it'll put it right here in the bottom of Chrome. You can then drag that track back in and drop it in. Now we're going to go ahead and rename this as our drum bus and it's going to kind of be our original uh one that we'll manipulate later so i'm going to take all the solos off now and here we go we've got a track when i only listen to this that's just the drum parts but i think you'll notice let's see even though i've got this 100% butted up against the beginning, you'll notice that these don't actually s sound together. And I'm not exactly sure why that reason is, but here is what I do to correct that. I zoom in a pretty good bit and take off some space at the beginning of Soundtrap. Then I find my playhead wherever it is, and I began to look and see like where there are similar pieces of audio. Like this is about the same, same shape as that in a waveform. So I'm going to zoom in on that exact spot there, and I'm actually going to slide this until the two match about exactly the same. It would be important to note that I do not have my snap to grid function on right now. My grid is actually, since this is a totally import, is set to time right now, which makes this a lot easier. I did that by selecting this and going to time. So um, now when I zoom back out, everything's going to be much more lined up. And you can hear when I play... that everything is much better. Now, I'm going to preserve that spacing and just duplicate this track and then uh, mute that drum track. So I have my original there for me. Now I'm going to call this new one Drum Verb. And as it is called Drum Verb, that probably means that I want to go in and add some room reverb to it. I'm going to add some modern amount of room reverb actually for drums i would probably use a close room here because you don't want too much wash on those drums uh, and then we'll play that and mix it in maybe do a little filtering Uh, what else might you do? You might want another uh, duplicate, and you could call it 
drum parallel compression. So then you could get in there and actually have a secondary version of this compression that you would really want to be a super compressed kind of uh, drum sound. So I'm using a high ratio, zero attack time, um, and some th lowered the threshold so you get a lot more punch to this. So you get a little bit more punch there. Who knows, you might even want to duplicate it and do drum saturation. And you could get in and actually apply just a little bit of distortion. And then each time after I get done with the effect, like the effect by itself does not sound good. Not really what we're going for there. So uh, you just blend it in till you like the sound of it in the mix. And then, of course, you've got the original drum bus muted so that you can come back and add more effects and experiment later. So if you're wanting to apply bus effects to groups, this would be a great way to do it. Just make sure you go back in and line up your audio uh, after you re-import. That would be an important step to making it sound good. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you did, feel free to like and subscribe.